Okay. Now, first thing we do is unhook these lines. Then you spit. Drop. There you go. Whoops. Crash. He doesn't need this because he'll eat all of what's on the ground there. But he's worked till he gets fed. Them's my rules. These go through these to keep them from falling down around him when I'm working. Crest collar comes off next. These are these straps here are only on the only on the bridge and when he works with the sled because otherwise it falls back and and the traces get down around his feet. So I put these on here and the trace goes through this strap to keep it from falling and this goes up and buckles on this ring under his belly band to keep the bridge and just from from falling around loose and tangling up. You can see here this traces through that. That way when he's working, it doesn't fall down under his feet. He barely steps over his traces. It happens once in a great while. It happened once today, but he was, like I said, he was started out in a foul mood. He's, he's settled all down now. I could leave these on, but I never have them on when he's working on his cart. We do an awful lot of work on the cart these days. Harness is two completely separate pieces. Uh, the uh, traces and the breast collar are one piece. And then the rest of it just basically holds all that together. And also has a function if he's if he's working on the cart. You know, these, these here hold the cart shafts up. But when he's working on the This harness could be better. I made it, and I hadn't had any harness, fork harness in a long time. I'd forgotten a lot about it, so it could be better, but, you know, everything I do could be better. It's tolerable. Now, this piece here, this is under his tail. This is around his tail. That's called a crupper. It's called a britching. It's called a belly band, shaft loops. Yeah, they're all pieces up like that. Lift them off. Hang them up. that As you see, he doesn't need to be tied. He wasn't tied to do any of that.
Yeah, those things are all piled in the same order they come off. Curry comb. Always gets brushed after he works. Always gets fed, always gets brushed. Those are rules. They're my rules, but they're good rules. Most people who work animals have similar rules. He likes to be brushed. I like to have him work. So, I got what I wanted. He ought to get what he wants. Don't you think? See how strong and hard those shoulders are? See, if I made him a collar that laid here and traces that laid right here, like this, and the straps mounted to them, he could pull a lot heavier load than with a breast collar that lays across here. And I will one of these days, but I don't know. You know, it kind of depends on his feet. But you saw him walking there. His, his feet aren't hurting him now. He got out a couple days ago. I left a, I left that gate that I showed you that I went through to get the hay. I left that open, and he can get out the far side and into that pasture. But he wasn't out very long, and he didn't eat very much. Anyway, that's a day's work with a donkey. Bye.